Mm. 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 Lord have mercy. These people have the world is gone insane. Woo. Lord have mercy. Okay. It seems like Steve Bannon isn't the only um infidel in Riff Rap who is disobeying uh subpoenas and the rest of those guys. Um, here we have um, to show you the disrespect and the narcissism. That's why I said it's very important that you have a mental house, okay? Because this nar this this plant this narcissism in this society is so off the chart. It's so um, it is so rampant and such a way of life. That a lot of people don't even see it. The people that get these positions of power, how they abuse it. And so it makes me really come, no, be one with that. That power corrupts. And absolute power corrupts. Absolutely. Absolute power corrupts. Absolutely. You, this is insane. The Los Angeles Sheriff Alex Villanueva and his second in command on Thursday defied subpoenas, requiring them to testify before an oversight commission about gang like group deputies and an investigation unit that has targeted the sheriff's critics. The snub. <laughs> I mean, the, the, well. The snub is the latest ploy in an increasingly hostile power struggle between Villanueva and the Sheriff's Civilian Oversight Commission. See, he don't want to come in and answer no question. He's above the job. He's above the law. He's above everything now. You gave him that power, so he lost his damn mind. Now, I believe the questions that they want to talk about um, for his abuse of power uh, is the gang activity that goes on in the police departments. I mean, come on. We got the Punishers here uh, where I live. I mean, it's no secret now that these so-called high remoral officers are really thugs, a lot of them with blue suits on. And the majority of them that um, run around here have adopted and have just bought into the culture that they really can't control. A good officer goes into the police department and sees all this corruption and it's coming from the top down. What do you expect them to do? I mean, what? It, it's just a cesspool, y'all. And the only people that are required to follow the law is us. I mean, it's just insane. And more specifically, you already know black people. You know, and brown people, y'all talk to toe the line like never before. Right? And especially black people. Because they put us, again, in a caste system that we're going to be perpetually miserable unless we get up out of this. And it's going to take a phenomenon. Willie Lynch said it. Anyway, Willie the Waver has called a commission demand of for him to do so and abuse of power. Members of the commission, meanwhile, have said that his recalitrance is an attempt to flout the body's oversight powers. Why on earth would the top law enforcement officer in L.A. County have a problem complying with a lawful subpoena to give testimony about the presence of deputy gangs within the department and allegations that he has secret police who are intimidating oversight officials. And that's what Sean Kennedy, uh, the Loyola Law uh, School professor who sits on the commission said. He should proudly come to answer our questions and testify under oath. This is the guy that's the damn sheriff. You gotta be kidding me. Look at this. Look at this corruption. How are we supposed to live in any kind of uh law abiding as a law abiding society when this happens 
Villanueva said the statement Wednesday night that the commission exists to offer advice, not to interrogate. <laughs> so he can't ask him no questions or nothing. This is insane, you guys. This is insane. I want to know what y'all think. So, because you know, it's 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 really a it's it's really a problem um, in LA again, like in most cities, urban cities. Um, the police officers are out of control, and that's what uh, specifically the black people. I want to speak to y'all right here. That's what makes it so crazy that we have to sit up here and uh, deal with this um, police brutality. Nobody wanting to come to our aid. They don't even think we deserve a, a George Floyd bill. They don't even think police, I mean, qualified immunity. They don't even want to do away with that. And so the only, the majority of people that's getting hurt and, and decimated by this type of, uh, of behavior are us. And so now you got a police department that's riddled with gangs. The police officer are the gangs. And how do you think anything good could come out of this? Let's just reason together for a minute. What good could come out of this? He said that uh, I have freely answered questions in the past. So why now do they want to interrogate me under oath in an adversarial setting? Commissioner Chairperson Priscilla Ocean said Thursday that when the sheriff does voluntarily appear, he often engages in long-winded non-responses. Despite those laws, I mean, the County Board of Supervisors granted the commission subpoena authority last year, and soon after, voters overwhelmingly reaffirmed that right by approving um, the measure uh, that Governor Newsom then gave subpoena power to the oversight bodies, and he signed it into law under Bill 1185, Assembly Bill. Despite those laws, the sheriff has demanded, and he has remained defiant, while so far avoiding a showdown in court, where a judge could order him to comply and testify before the commission, or face punishment that could include a fine or imprisonment. A judge could also throw out the subpoena. I mean, if this is the law enforcement, what would it hurt this man to come in there and answer questions about gang activity? The little waiver was subpoenaed to testify about gang-like groups and deputies following the release of a study L.A. County officials commissioned uh, the RAND Corp to conduct on this particular issue. The study found 16% of the 1,608 deputies and supervisors who anonymously answered surveys and questions had been invited to join a group, some with invitations having come in the last five years. Villanueva briefly attended a remote meeting, but left before he was called on to speak. And he complained in a social media post about after the meeting, about the wait time, even though he showed up an hour early. The commission refused to allow Villanueva's chief of staff to read a prepared statement on behalf of the sheriff. This is getting real, real ugly. Um, and uh, I just don't like uh, what it represents. It doesn't, it doesn't represent any a uh, 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 entity, any institution of authority that respects their own laws that they created. They don't respect their own damn laws, but they want us to follow. Look at this madhouse. And y'all think this is cool. Listen, the nuts, I'm trying to tell you, they've taken over the asylum. And I want to know what y'all think. Because some of y'all out there that hit me back up and that's in L.A. I mean, what do y'all, what's the pulse that y'all feel 
that y'all encounter in these games. That's cops, sheriffs, riding down on your hoodlum, committing crimes. It just kind of seems like um, it just really seems insanity, like like a mad, uh, uh, in, just insanity, warmed over. All right, I'm gonna go. If you like what you hear, please like, subscribe, share to the channel. Um, dislike, I don't care. Put a thumbs down, put a thumbs up, just put something there. I really appreciate you listening, and I'll see you in the next video.